Why are drug prices so high? And indeed, for many years, the pharmaceutical industry was the most profitable industry in the United States, number one as far back as I could find, going right up until 2003 when the war in Iraq began. And at that point, petroleum and mining jumped ahead, energy jumped ahead. Uh, but last year, the pharmaceutical industry was still number two. The next thing to observe is how much money this industry spends on marketing and administration. Last year that was $73 billion, or 32% of sales revenue. Uh, a lot of money. The same year, research and development accounted for only $37 billion. Now, $37 billion is a lot of money, but it's only half what these companies spent on marketing and administration, and less even than they retained in profits after all of their expenses. This is the smallest of the three main budgetary items, the smallest. Before a drug can legally be sold in this country, it has to be approved by the FDA wherever it's made. Approval depends on the company demonstrating in clinical trials that a new drug is reasonably safe and effective. But compared with what? They don't have to compare their new drugs with existing drugs to treat the same condition with the best standard treatment. In most cases, they only have to compare their new drugs with a placebo. That is the major output of this industry. And these are old drugs judged not to be any better than drugs already in the market. That is, Me Too drugs, trivial variations of drugs already in the market. And this is this industry's major output now. Well, why? Well, that's where the money is. This is just for last year. And you can see that uh, everything was a Me Too drug. Uh, there were 93 drugs approved. Uh, 75 were Me Too drugs. Uh, there were 18 that were new molecular entities. Uh, but only six of those were judged to be uh, improvements.